Guys, it is finally done. The longest angry review to date. I think Battlefield 2042. I wanted to cover everything, all three modes, and this is it. Thank you so much for being so patient. Thank you for all your support. Consider supporting us on Patreon now more than ever because it really matters. We're actually being demonetized by YouTube. My Battlefield rant, you'll see in the video, was demonetized by YouTube uh, for excessive profanity. So it's you guys that keep our show going. Uh, you and our sponsors. Thanks to our sponsors, G Fuel, who have a brand new flavor in honor of Spider-Man coming out soon. We're giving a 30% discount in celebration of the new Angry Review. Check it out. Radioactive Lemonade. Thank you for directly supporting the show, either by grabbing a tub of G Fuel or by supporting us directly on Patreon or YouTube. It really goes uh, to help these videos. So I hope you guys enjoy. Sit down, grab some popcorn, grab a drink, and uh, strap yourself in. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God! Oh, Hold it, Joe. There you are. Help are you hit? No, I just tripped and fell. Oh, okay, Help I'll heal up. you up. No problem. What's, what's the matter? Um, you'll be fine, buddy. What happened? Don't what worry about it. Uh, I'm sorry, Joe. What happened? You're not gonna make it, man. Why? You're not gonna make it. Your toe. Am I bleeding? What, it's, my toe? it's touching the fence. But it's just a fence. <sighs> I know. It's just a fence. No, don't do this, man. Oh, no. Just take the toe. Don't let me die. We're brothers. I'm sorry, Joe. No. It's just going to be as hard for me as it is for you. You pulled me away from the fence. Joe. The goddamn fence. I'm sorry. Battlefield. Another year of disappointment. This was, it was, yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. put it all together. No! Fuck! I am, I'm so depressed, guys. Uh, this year's Battlefield broke me. How much is he used all your powers and all his skills? I don't want his mother to see him. Look how they mess with my boy. I didn't even want to do an angry review, honestly. What happened? Huh? What's happened? I think I got booted from the game. What? Fuck! Uh, I, I literally cannot remember a time where I didn't want to play Battlefield. <laughs> Are you winning, son? Uh, I don't really know, Dad. Uh, there's no scoreboard uh, and no all chat. Um, they did give me this participation trophy, though. So, it's that. Huh. That's, uh, it's kind of lame. Kind of candy-ass participation trophy shit. Or I was done with it so damn early. Yeah. I'm, I'm fucking...
Uh, and Dude, and it's, its player base has fallen nearly 50% in the last uh, 10 days with refunds, uh, people just leaving, not playing, and, and many realizing the huge disappointment that Battlefield is. I went crazy in my angry rant, so crazy that YouTube demonetized my rant. Uh, this is something in 2021 I guess we're going to have to deal with. What a time to be alive! They said I said fuck too many times, so I guess there's a fuck allotment. I, I don't know how many I have, honestly, so I guess I got to do, <laughs> I, I got to be more calm Fudge. or something. We can just switch words. Oh, Fudge. Something. Yeah. No. Fudge. No. 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 Where's the scoreboard? There is no scoreboard. You're you don't joking. get a scoreboard. No, there's no all chat, no scoreboard, because it hurts people's feelings. Fuck you, Dice. Fudge? Uh, I don't know what it has. There's there's something weird going on with Battlefield reviews, too. Not a goddamn fucking person said a peep, you know, about this. Uh, and then, like, they all come out at the same time. They're all, like, eights and nines. Cash money shillionaires. I feel like that there was, like, some kind of it's event no where they no were, and they're reviewing nine. it off the vent mm -hmm. at their offices. It's fucked because Battlefield... Uh, the critic score, the journalists, is way different than the user score. So anyway, I, got, I brought in OJ and Alex, who played with me throughout, to explain why Battlefield 2042 sucks! <laughs> and came out in this state. So we split the game into three modes, right? That's how the game itself is split. And we're going to discuss each. Uh, but let's start with the main game, Battlefield 2042 Multiplayer. All Out Warfare is what it's called. So what works and what doesn't work? I'll start with what doesn't work and why the game is so bad. First off, you want your game to fucking work! We had so many crashes. Amazed. Yeah, my computer... The game is mad at me. Oh, oh you can't no. make fun of it. <laughs> uh, I think I just crashed again. Oh, cool. So many frustrating crashes, hard crashes, and could have been my graphics card, but there are other games that come out that are just fine. They use my graphics card, right? We play, uh, we had lag, we had visual hey. glitches, we had hitbox hey. detection Whoa. issues, rubber banding, hey. rubber banding. Oh, bullet spread is out of control, the blooming on the weapons, insane. It, it's a fucking shit show. I got two of them down. <laughs> yeah, get 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 there. Right there, right there, right there. Oh, that was everywhere but the enemy. <laughs> it's just general shit not working. Like fucking reviving. You remember that time, Joe? You were like I was invincible. touching the wall. <laughs> One pinky was touching the wall. It's like, oh no, my foot's on the wall. <laughs> I see it says zero. How are you fucking where are you? And my loadouts won't even fucking change. Where are you? Oh, I'm teabagging him. I can't do nothing about it! <laughs> well, I don't even... S oh! <laughs> <laughs> no, you too, you bastard! Get off me! Get off me! <laughs> so we can't Get me out of here! <laughs> can't do anything. And I can't even request. I can't press the space. Teabag. Teabag. Oh, I hate you guys. Teabag. Teabag. I hate you. And then sometimes, like you'll get, like you'll get stuck in a dead animation, but nobody can revive you. And then you, you, the whole match, you have to sit out and watch everything. So rezzing don't work. Yeah, look, look, he's trying to res that, and rezzing is not working for some reason. Chief is trying to res me. Um, that was terrible. And then sometimes, even in other modes, like when you're trying to disarm a, a bomb and rush, like it doesn't work. Oh shit! They planted on B. I, why why can't I interact Covering. with it? I can't hit I can't interact. Oh, I can't. Well, 
What? I couldn't do it either. I couldn't what interact. Fuck? I couldn't interact either. That was bullshit. It's broken. Basic fucking things were completely broken at release. Mm -hmm. And worse, the game released early to people that paid ninety and one hundred ten dollars in an even worse state. <laughs> And there really wasn't even a day one patch. It came out a few days later, and then there's another patch, and then there's another patch there's coming. There's more coming. There's more patches coming, mm -hmm. by the way. Some of these things have been addressed, uh, but some of them are fundamental flaws. So, yeah, so we're going to do pre-patch. Uh, yeah, pre-patch, when it came out. This is because this fucking the assessment of when a game fucking releases. I am so sick and tired of having to fucking wait for our game to be finished in three months and six months yes. and a year down along the line. Alex had that great speech one time. I forgot what fucking game it was. I think it was Cyberpunk or something where it's like, no, stop fucking excusing these things. <laughs> fuck, fuck chat. Now you're going <laughs> to watch that fuck screen. No. Damn it. <laughs> Are you sure it's not working yet, Joe? <laughs> like, this is unacceptable for a release. And for this game to be get eights and shit at there's fucking... No oh, there's fucking no fucking way. fucking way they played the fucking thing or they're being paid. I'm sorry. This is really fucking, like, shocking to me. It's funny you mentioned that right now because he told me to turn it on. I did. It's like keeps popping up. Unknown error. error. Unknown error. error. Unknown I error. said that. That's it right. It keeps beeping every time we? I open it up. Games. I don't want to get... Oh. Is that what they think Is that what... We started the <laughs> game by erroring, right? And guess what? We have not it's stopped erroring now. since. Now. Just playing this game is an error. Error code. There are so many <laughs> errors. Unknown, codes. unknown. Something's wrong. We don't know. <laughs> and Newell. Make their minds up. <laughs> what did you. Joe, what did you do? I got an error. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> Joe, you son of a bitch. Was it me? Mm. Fuck! I got an error too. I got an error too. Everyone's getting it. Everyone got an error. I didn't get an error yet. Okay. I'm just still maybe, stuck maybe. here. Ah, you son of a bitch. Oh, there's my error. Anyways, so so you have that to begin with. And I'm going to fucking cap. I'm going to give you point by point. I'm going to give you fucking 12 we'll points. We're going to break it down <laughs> for you. 12 points why Battlefield 2042 sucks and is having problems. So there's your first point. It doesn't fucking work. Yeah. Second point. It's big one. No campaign. This is the first fucking year that there's no campaign. And when you when you bring no campaign, you got to bring fucking shit hard, right? Mm -hmm. That's to what we make said. up mm -hmm. for the lack of a whole third of the game. No, a whole half of the game, depending on how you look at it, right? Cuz like 110 bucks, It used bucks. To, for me, it used to always be campaign multiplayer, and I was fucking and I had great fun in both. I yeah, the stories weren't very good, but I don't want to uh, uh, let's just get rid of it because there were never any interesting characters or I didn't like it. Shut the fuck up. You have to get better. You can't just let them be like, "Ah, you don't got to work on it anymore." Because this is the kind of shit we get. <laughs> This game is fucking amazing. You think with no f 
campaign that they'd have time to polish the multiplayer, right? You would think. That's what that people would say. <laughs> I don't care about that. campaign. I did. I yeah. did. I was you, like, okay, well, you're not campaign. focusing on that. Focus on I this. Love, I only care about multiplayer. Joe campaign been shit anyways. It'll have more time to multiplayer. False. 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 Not only do we get far less content this time and far less modes, but they're f***ing broken and unfinished. An entire third or half of the game is gone, and you're paying just as much. No, more. You're paying more for less and for broken and for an unforgivable state of the game. Yeah. Those two points kind of ruin the, it, it, it completely for me and make this a different battlefield. But there's more. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Well, what is the thing that like, you think well, is the fundamental problem, uh, you know, or, or the change here? Battlefield doesn't feel like Battlefield to me. It, yeah, know. I mean, the big... <sighs> The specialists are a huge issue. The gunplay doesn't feel good. I mean, the thing about Battlefield for me, it always been like, I play the medic. You're gonna play assault. We're gonna make him be engineer. We have this. There's there's trade offs with with how you play the game. And right now, everyone has the meta PP or the meta DMR. They all have the uh, the RPG or an AA gun. They all have all of the same. Everyone is exactly You're forced the to same. Play exactly the so same. So what what ended up happening? I, I'm. Battlefield 5 failed miserably, and I imagine that there was some idiot in the boardroom saying, well, Call, uh, Call, of, Duty's, a lot of, Call of Duty's killing it, so we need to copy them. So let's kill what we what everyone wanted from Battlefield, and let's just copy them. And it doesn't fucking work, yeah. because I want to play Battlefield for the stuff that I love about Battlefield. And I don't want to be using the same gun that you're all using. And we all ended up using the same gun. We all had the same best attachments. One. We all the had the same everything. <laughs> best this is, one. The PP is the best gun in the game. That's hilarious. That's away. funny. I that the got this. I got this. Oh, yeah. They'll patch it out <laughs> later. But it, this is the launch yeah. experience. Joe, do you need attachments for your PP? Yes. I'm enhancing it. I'm enhancing it. You're enhancing your PP? Longer yeah. barrel, bigger magazine. Shoots further. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Going to distance, baby. With as quick as he uh, empties his clip, pee -pee. we need to reload faster. How come I need a higher caliber for my PP? What? <laughs> my PP just fine. Yeah, and so we end up with unflavorful, unfun specialists, and they're all the same, so there's no fucking point anyway. Yeah. And the it just class is, yeah. That just doesn't feel like Battlefield. Who's ready for some action? Let's not keep it waiting. Now we get serious. Let's get moving. Reporting for duty, and that's that's the one of the reasons that I'm I'm I we keep going back to Battlefield Four because I like that game, yeah. and then there's a better there's better systems, yeah. and this one just doesn't feel right. Yeah, without classes and going to this specialist system, you lose the feeling of cooperation. You lose role playing. You lose all that. Everybody runs around like fucking Rambo's, like they do in Call of Duty. And sure, some of the specialists can be fun with a wingsuit. You can get these cool kills falling down on people's heads and surprising them and shit. And and the fucking shield was broken. You, <laughs> and, that's it. and and you can make little stupid little battlefield fucking advertisements where fifteen rockets are hitting the shield and it looks cool so that. Motherfucking EA can retweet your goddamn tweet and make the game look better than it fucking is. It's no, broken. it's fucking, <laughs> it's stupid. And the classes and specialist system deserve to be in a Call of Duty game, an Overwatch game, or hell, in the hazard zone that we'll talk about, but not in a Battlefield game. And you know what? Maybe if all the rest of the shit we're about to talk about was fixed and they still did specialist, maybe it might work, right? But with all this other stuff, Specialist is just adding to that. Uh, it's, it's forcing people to play a certain way, especially with all the, the vehicle spam. So, yeah, you're right. Specialists is um, a huge problem. Well, yeah, another thing was uh, the maps. It was very underwhelming for mm -hmm. me. Like, there's certain maps that I like in BF4. This one, nothing stood out to nothing. me. Nothing. It's like, which one do I hate less? Yes. That's what's <laughs> like, okay, well, I don't. Hate, hate this one. So, right. yeah, I'll tolerate this There's one. There's seven fucking maps, Joe. And none of them. Seven are fucking maps. Call of Duty comes out with 20 fucking maps. Vanguard, which I shit on, actually fucking worked at release, had more maps at release. And these maps are just, they're 
so poorly designed. Yeah, the kaleidoscope is terrible. There's not a lot of cover there. No, and it's we, we had that one mission where we had to like uh, push everyone back. Yep. For some goddamn reason, they put the fucking point at the very top. <laughs> There's no one elevator. Can There's get to. three tanks on the roof and <laughs> yeah. like forty hovercraft. Yeah. One All elevator, one. and Break like, as through. soon as it opens, everyone just ro- yep. like does nothing but rocket launchers. Here we go. I'm going up <sighs> the elevator. Let's do it. Die. Let's die in five seconds. Fire! Because you destroy that hovercraft that they use as a turret, but then they just call down another one. There's already five it's sitting instant, up there. Instant, instant, they call it down. Kaleidoscope is so poorly joke. designed on breakthrough. Uh, it, it, attackers are guaranteed to lose right now. Yeah. There's no fun. You're, you're, there's supposed to be repels and an elevator, but it doesn't work with the call in system. And I'll get to that. But we're talking about Kaleidoscope, which is unfun. Yeah. One of the most so we were there for maps. like 30 minutes just trying to figure out what the fuck we're going to do. It's like, all right, let's just, we ended up just leaving. Yeah. It was like, this is disappointing. It we fucking awful. left. The problem I have with this one is they advertised it in a way where it made it look like there was dense cities with lots of cover like we had gotten yeah. in other battlefield maps and all that they did was stretch out the map size yeah. and then it's just empty spaces that you just get obliterated in empty and spaces you're right it's no like it's, there's vehicles some, there's some some density but then it's just empty spaces and it just makes it so unfun yeah speaking of vehicles orbital oh yeah orbital. yeah that beta hovercraft. map hovercraft, i was uh, hovercraft. Yeah. <laughs> i was taught it's vehicle domination on <laughs> orbital and what Alex was saying, I thought he was talking about Hourglass, which is another shitty one, because the trailer made it look so amazing. There are these badass explosions I ain't never seen in the well, game. You gotta have the it trailer, was a man. lie. It was a <laughs> fucking lie. It's almost, and, and it looks so dense and urban in these buildings that you'll get into because uh, the sand outside. No, it's almost an entirely empty fucking desert. Um, mm-hmm. And it's got the same breakthrough problem. I played on it. It has a, when you play it on breakthrough, it's like that skyscraper problem all over again on hourglass it would be great if you could take the whole fucking building down and then create levolution yeah they just have all of the uh hovercrafts are just set up as turrets hovercrafts tanks they're just set up as turrets up here my corpse is up on top i'm just watching them this is dumb yep i'm done with this uh, there's four more maps. There's Breakaway. There's Ugh. some all right infantry combat near the oil rigs, mm-hmm. uh, but <laughs> at release, the oil rigs had a problem where everybody would get two frames per second if the shit exploded and shit. And then there's Renewal. This one's a solid map. It has a fun breakthrough. You know, that's the desert and the grass one where you're yeah. breaking through. That one has cool on breakthrough and that cool desert combat, that, that initial hill where everybody's trying yeah. to get to that gate. That's fun. And Manifest is okay but it's like and the reason why i think manifest works because it's a little smaller ish mm-hmm. i hate the containers i just don't fucking go to those containers uh, manifest half the map is garbage and the other half, half the map is, is really good it's, it's, it's it's cool. Cool. there's still some open spaces little, but, yeah. I, but i don't mind it but yeah. i hate that entire yeah, side i too. refuse to spawn I, ever refuse it. I go to the observatory yeah. the you, know, like you little... don't want to spawn there but it Kicks you there. Oh, they yeah. spawning yeah. point. I was oh, like, come yeah. on. And then finally, there's discarded. I get. I guess I mostly like discarded, but I hate. Again, I hate a big part of the map. That coastal ship area. I just stay away from that shit. Uh, but everything else I like, <laughs> it's trap. just hilarious that they can't even design the goddamn entryways. Right when you spawn on that map, there's like 20 vehicles <laughs> trying to get in. That it. was the best clip ever. It's funny, man. <laughs> and these are the seven maps that we deal with. All of these years, this is what you came Rotation up with with the shit. map. Like, Oh, yeah, there's multiple guns on this. Jesus Four Christ. Guns. Jesus Christ. Oh, guys. There's not one single map here that I'm like, yeah, man, this is fucking classic. I want to see this again in the future when I'm playing, t- you know, Battlefield. Everybody's going to remember this map. No, it's fucking shit. Um, yeah, so, and then here's here's another. Number, number five, the call-in system is ruining Battlefield. Um, it's vehicle spam. Every fucking squad can call in multiple hover tanks and uh, fu- hovercraft and tanks, right? It is ridiculous. It is chaotic. So when you get to a little a defense point, there's like <laughs> 10, 10 vehicles 
and it's just back and forth. As soon as one fucking hovercraft is destroyed, boop, you pull up, you press B, and you pull up the fucking call-in menu, you call in another one. It's as if it didn't. It doesn't fucking matter. That's what <laughs> contributes to the thing that nothing feels like it fucking matters because it doesn't blow up my hovercraft. I'll call in three more. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Not exactly it's like you didn't even give me a campaign. Business. Give me the fucking guns, you pieces of shit. If you're not gonna give me a campaign, let me use the guns. Hovercraft spawn in and recoil M5. Always do. I'm chucking it. There's another one behind it. Up. Oh great. <laughs> this is since I chucked up the rest of my grenades. You know did. Cool. I got you zero. I can't, I can't He's behind the hovercraft. I got him. I think we're all dead. Another hovercraft yeah. coming in from behind. We're all dead. And it <laughs> ran me over. We're dead, Jim. <laughs> I just, I just fucking killed two goddamn hovercrafts, and then the fucking squad just needs one person alive. Then they called down five more hovercrafts. I'm fucking oh, yeah, tired of battlefield hovercraft. Uh, and here we go again. Another hovercraft. It's on fire. Ah, damn it. Ah. We'll see and another hovercraft here in five seconds. Trying I'm to get into switch it. my yeah, yeah, fucking yeah, mind. The There's another fucking hovercraft. They just called down the fucking hovercraft. It's just hovercraft. I'm so tired of hovercrafts. Because it quadruples your fucking health. There's no reason not to call down a hovercraft. It's a fucking available. Yeah, yeah, call down. Yeah, it's time to call to down vehicles. Everybody thing. call down their hovercraft. Let's go. Uh, another oh. hovercraft. Oh, and hovercraft. And there's another hovercraft. Go Guys, crap. fuck this. Fuck this stupid, dirty ass, dumb ass shit that they didn't fucking bother to fucking. Whatever. I'm trying to understand the sales. Now we're having fucking hovercraft wars. Look at this. It, it, this is ridiculous. I got you, bitch. Oh <laughs> the sales God. pitch zero is in the grim dank of the future, there is There's only, only hover hovercraft. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. The call in system sucks. Yeah. Maybe, what else? Uh, maybe you shouldn't be able to call in tanks on on the roof of a building to guard the the only way up to the building. Yeah. I mean, we talk about the maps, but I mean, it's kind of fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Um, I, I will say this: maybe use a hovercraft to like ride up there. Yeah, I will say this: there are some funny <laughs> compilations of people oh, like yeah. having the a great broken. time with the hovercraft. Yeah. But it's like making fun of the game. It's like super broken. Then they fly off and slam into a helicopter. <laughs> we are free, boys! And live. The hovercrafts are so bulletproof that they fucking slam into a helicopter and then the hovercraft yeah. sails off into the sunset. Look, I'm sure. Yet another thing that will be patched, but we're talking at release. Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, this, is, this stems from the, what we talked about earlier, and it compounds <laughs> the problem that everyone in your team will have either uh, an RPG or an AA gun. And you so have to. You have to. In fact, multiple people in the tiny four-man squad need to have and you have to and then yeah. even when you destroy them immediately so it doesn't feel good when you you're like i'm a really good chopper pilot and you fly up in the air and then you get hit by six and you're like All right, i guess i'm yeah. fucking dead now yeah. but it doesn't matter when you're on the ground right. because they're just gonna immediately call another exactly. one exactly you have like two fucking rockets in your rocket line yeah. like three maybe and it takes and it more. takes so much and then it's you like, run well, out I'm of ammunition mm -hmm. and then you have to have the specialist that calls in additional ammo or something but it doesn't fucking matter. And then when you finally get to destroy one hovercraft or one tank after hitting ten it come eight over the times hill, like, by Fuck. doing dodging, then, yeah, ten more come over they're the hill. They're just raining from the sky. It's like, raining from the sky, and you're like, I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> hovercraft. Hovercraft direct ahead. Hovercraft, hovercraft, hovercraft. At least it'll they be over soon. just fucking call it Battlefield Hovercraft. Uh, there's a hovercraft scaling the, uh, ship. <laughs> yeah. Can we fly down there? Let's try it. <laughs> they fly now. Hovercraft. They fly now. Yes. It's like, it's like, you know, it, it gives it's me that so, Sea of Thieves mm. feeling where it doesn't matter if you fucking kill the people. They're going to come right back. Yeah. There's no fucking point. No. Anyway, number six, progression. Alex. Progression is so slow in this game. We played it a lot. 
it, like we probably had like a six hour stream to an eight hours. hour stream. I, I played a fuck ton in a small amount of time. Yeah, and the progression just felt bad. <clears throat> like you level up super slow. The stuff that you're unlocking often doesn't even matter. Mm-hmm. You're going to unlock something. It's like, oh, hey, this is a site. It's like, oh, what's different than the other one? It's like, oh, it's exactly the same. Yeah, it just. It cosmetic. Looks, it looks. It looks different. It's like, oh, okay, great. So it doesn't. I've do I've never it. seen that in a Battlefield game. And there's only 22 guns. And what is insane about this is, like, Battlefield 4 launched with so many, and there was a <sighs> lot of customization. And look, Battlefield 4 launched in a yeah, really poor so state good. too. But at least there were good bones. Right. This game does not have, have good, good bones. bones. Right. Damn. 22 weapons. Are you? Are you out of your mind? Are you? Are you out of your mind? After years of developing, you give us 22 weapons, and then these are even fewer when you consider the different categories of shit, and you have like two guns in one fucking category, and that would be bad enough already when there were fewer guns, but every gun sucks. It, it sounds like shit. The guns themselves, there's no standout gun, except for the PPs. Everybody's running around with PPs out, whipping their PPs <laughs> out. They're, they're fucking out sniping snipers with the PPs. It's fucking stupid. OP. The game got a lot more fun when we did all unlock the PP because immediately we started to dominate everyone who didn't yeah. have one because the balance is so it laughable. So the gunplay in a shooter, you, all you have, this is a shooter game, right? This is all you do is shooties. And you made a shooty game with no single player and shooting people in this game feels like shit. Yeah. And it's as if, if you even hit them with the goddamn weapon bloom and spread and, <laughs> and hit detection... It's insane. Yeah, I, it's as if they never even fucking play test. If it's that beta, was the first beta they've ever done. Well, the play testers were probably the same shills that were under contract. Oh, so you can't criticize the game, and yep. so the play testers are like, "I had so much fun. It there was, were no errors. It was okay. Yeah, I guess is the hardest criticism I, they got. Just customization like blink, in this help. battlefield. Customization and attachments are a joke." So yes. many of them don't even have, they have the There's same no fucking stats or no effect. The whole point of specialists is so that they could sell the fucking skins and make them look cool. And they don't fucking look cool. And I don't want to buy any skins. Like, if you're going to ask people to do something that crazy, the skin needs to look way better. But you want to know why the skin looks like shit? They can sell you the good looking skin. I mean, look at it. It's just a fucking recolor. Of one that you get right away. Like, that is so pathetic. I guess the T system is cool. That's the one thing they add them, right? Mm. So you get to fucking cross, and you can change your, your scopes on the fly. But honestly, I hardly use it, you know? It's like, like, oh, that looks cool. That's about it. Because it you, you have one weapon that's so powerful, looks, you don't use the right? other one. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Um, <laughs> number seven. If you want to play with friends... Tough luck. <laughs> yeah. Fudge you. You don't get to. <laughs> you get a squad Fuck of you. four. Oh, okay. <laughs> is that you want to squat up with more? Nah, nah, we can't nah. do that. Nah. Playing nah. together is so frustrating. How do they so go difficult. backwards? I don't know. We we are. If you do manage to find your four friends, yeah. good luck trying to stay in the same group. Because right. sometimes you spawn in and they split you up. Do you want to leave your group? You can't. You want to kick somebody out? You, <laughs> you can't. You want to create a squad and make it you private? Can't. You can't. You want to leave your own squad? It is it's a like very complicated process of clicking you on your own self and kicking your own BF4. self. But you can't kick. I, 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 what, what happened? Did you guys just lose that? Did they just the, like, nah, did that nah, guy nah, leave? People don't like that. No. Mm. The guy had a baby, Joe. He went home. <laughs> the guy that designed that. And then it was the janitor they got. I, I don't know. I keep bringing up janitors. <laughs> janitors are way better than whatever this guy designed. Why is there no button easily to leave squad? I told you. <laughs> are you fucking shitting me? You still can't join me? Because no, I left uh, the squad. Yeah, because there's, there's like no, there's way, no to way to leave a to squad. The, the game constantly changes squad leader, right? Yes. So I'm Angry Joe, and I want to lead not only my group but also other people that want to play with us on our server into battle. And it, no, fucking too bad. It will randomly kick me as the like, squad leader. I'm squad leader. It like, makes how? somebody else a squad know. leader. I don't know what the fuck I did. No fucking sense to that. The game constantly also adds players to your squad without your permission. So it changes squad leader without your permission. It adds people to your squad without permission. And when we're Loading into the game with no reason. We have this guy show up. With, Who the fuck is this? It kicks out Alex. It's like, yeah, Alex, join. It's like, well, I can't I can't leave. No, I can't join I can't your leave. game I now. I can't join. I can't kick the guy who randomly appeared because the game is fucking stupid. Just, 
The anus. It would be great if I could fucking switch teams, but I can't fucking switch teams because his interface is fucking garbage and there's no way to fucking switch teams in a battlefield game. Oh, what you gonna do? We gotta try it again. It was, Hopefully it works. It was so hard for three of us to play together. F forget much less, more than that. Forget any meaningful multiple squad coordination and cooperation no. or commanders. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not, none of that. There's none of that shit in this battlefield. And that's the part of battlefield that I loved the most. You get a fucking side. You feel like a faction. You're coordinating. You're squad chatting with multiple squad leaders. Gone. Completely gone. It took them how long to give us a map? Yeah, <laughs> like they're like all chat is gone too. I'm I'm surprised you can still talk to your own fucking team in this game. <laughs> I'm surprised faction chat, team That's chat is still there. Taken out mm -hmm. That's next, next, next game. Next time. Yeah. 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 Someone said a bad thing to me. Like, <laughs> oh my god! It's it for a game that is 128 players, and they want as many people to play as possible. Why is it so fucking hard to play with your friends? And it's, it's just ridiculous. And I think it's because, number eight, the interface is the worst UI in the business. I hate it. Yeah. I hate it. I'm sorry, but this, this UI designer, he needs to be let go or given a different position in the company. Get in the janitor. Thing, basic <laughs> things. Go, make him the janitor. Bring the janitor up. Because basic things are fucking missing. How do I ping the map? Uh, I think you can. The scoreboard! Alex, why is the scoreboard important in games? Uh, I like to know how I'm doing. Uh, I like to know how other people are doing. Uh, sometimes when someone is 320 and zero, uh, we like to kick them. It's it's good to know when you have your own little server and you're like, oh, hey, that guy's got Fucking a name body. He's shooting through walls and stuff. Um, if you don't like the scoreboard, I recommend not hitting the scoreboard button. Uh, and Oh! So yeah. if you don't like it, don't fucking pull it up, but don't take it away from me, assholes. Everyone. Mm -hmm. They take it away from everyone. There are so many important things that the scoreboard uh, conveys that pulling it out is the stupidest idea. And they're like, oh, don't worry about it. Uh, if you press tab, then you can see your own squad's kills, but we hide all the other squads, and we hide everything else. And then you have to go to a completely separate screen to see the list of players, which is offers you no information whatsoever. Yeah. It is... You, and then you cannot zoom on the map. You know, when you guys are in fucking battle and I'm trying to fucking click on you so I can support you, but then I accidentally click on another goddamn thing or the game just decides to ignore all of my commands and spawn me into a goddamn other <laughs> You're inside side of the now. map. It's hard because you can't, there's no fucking zoom on the fucking map. And I'm, I can't, I'm trying to click on E2, but it thinks I want to click on you, spawning on you, which I don't want to do. Seriously, who the fuck? What the fuck is... Oh my god. So lucky. They are so lucky. They're like all over. What the fuck? I didn't spawn here. I spawned at B1. I didn't spawn here too, but I'm trying to capture D1. Oh you, yeah, you want to look at the map and be like, shit. hey, everyone meet up on this coordinate. Oh, I can't fucking ping. <laughs> right. Okay, well, meet somewhere <laughs> in this area. <laughs> Did they not fucking play the game at Why? all when with 128 players that everything gets so bunched up that you need the ability to zoom? Who made this shit? You you need to be able to spawn in precisely for supporting. Yeah, like the, spawn the A is like I tried, but I'm at Z. Yeah. I'll <laughs> the, weapon, in an hour. <laughs> the weapon interface is fucking buried. Yeah, leaving a squad is so complicated. Doing anything is a fucking chore. Yeah. Um, and then and then just basic stuff. Well, that was basic. Here's even more basic. When you go to a point to disarm the point, do you, you remember what it looks like? It's like a transparent you have to white zoom in. that is so <laughs> tiny, and it fills up with a color you it, you cannot see what's happening. So sometimes you think it's not working, but it is. You have to sit there. Fill. It is just dumb. I don't know who this person on the interface team or the interface team itself is literally like a first year developer, or maybe a negative one year developer. It, it doesn't make any sense. You, They've yeah. learned nothing <laughs> from all of the previous Battlefield games. They don't even play their own fucking games. They just throw something out there. If it works, then they move on to the next thing. Honestly, if it doesn't work, they move on to the next thing. Yeah. Because number nine, there is very little destruction in this game. What do you mean? I saw your gameplay. That was top notch, man. Up 
Objective Charlie 1. The, the only done. thing no. that this game destroyed was my it, whatever confidence I had left in dice. Like these people are no talent ass clowns that don't know what they're doing, and you should stop giving them money. When the store does open up, don't give them a fucking penny. Go play anything else right now. Yeah. Is that, isn't that crazy? This game has been out for weeks, and there's nothing in the store, and that should tell you everything you need to know because it's fucked. Almost laughable the destruction compared to previous games. Did you know that there's actually just like destruction in this joke? Get this. You know that fucking skyscraper on Kaleidoscope? Something does break on it. it it's, the it's the tiny little antenna that falls down, and then the antenna falls. When in previous Battlefield, the entire fucking skyscraper comes. Be on fuck on breakthrough on uh, yes, that fucking map grab tanks and just shoot the just bottom. shoot the fucking <laughs> bottom and bring that whole those fucking assholes up there. We yes. need something like that, but no, no. the little antenna breaks up. Whoa! Oh, and a rocket launches into space. Whoa! I would have laughed my ass off if the antenna fell down on top of you and then you died. Isn't yeah. it? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Isn't it crazy that it, like even in Portal it. <laughs> The game shows you how bad the new game is compared to the old yeah. games because it recreates the destruction of the older bad companies, right? And and shit. And the destruction in there is cool. Oh, but man. you have to realize that destruction is actually not in 2042. Blowing you up. have to cu make custom. Oh, we'll get. Anyway, oh, we'll yeah, get oh, to yeah. Portal. So, very little destruction, number nine. Number 10, the expats idea is so stupid. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. They're non. Denomination, non. Everybody's running around looking the same. Saying cringy mm -hmm. shit. Ones that are trying to break through. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> the first person that shows up is. The first person that shows up is Jack. She was very happy that she won. <laughs> Did I go too far? Come on. Don't be sad. This is just how it works out sometimes. The cringiest shit. Hey, man. That's just how things go. Or I yeah. don't fucking remember what he said. It's like, what the fuck? It just doesn't belong. Nothing it's like, is memorable. Yeah, they just take stuff from Overwatch or Apex where, like, the, the mood in those games is wildly different than that in Battlefield. And so, like, after your, mass, your match of mass genocide, you're like, man, clips are what Civvy's put in the hair. <laughs> did like, you oh, see okay. what I did just now? Boop. <laughs> And then he Fortnite dances, and then you should <laughs> refund. Yeah. They, they're going to have those, yeah. Booty booty. Oh, God. Booty booty. Booty booty. booty. I spy with my little eye. Booty. Spank the booty. Eat the booty. Snub the booty. Eat the booty. Booty booty. Booty booty. You're welcome. Hold on. What? Okay. Spank the booty. Yeah. Eventually, nothing just feels impactful. Nothing matters. You don't feel like a faction. It's it's just it, it takes away from the feeling of battlefield. These expat idea was terrible. They make no sense. Thank you for fighting for Russia. And then the next guy, uh, United States. It, yeah, like not, what? what? I'm it doesn't make any shower. sense. <laughs> why? Why in the the opening fucking screen is a goddamn ship and there's no fucking naval combat or anything in the fucking, I fucking game? Love the doing whole the jet time, skis and shit right. like that. Come on. The whole time we're looking at How a ship you and you not? never see a ship in the game. It's Except coming, for this maybe, fucking loading maybe, screen, maybe. which errors out every fucking time. It's hilarious. I guess because all the expats are on this stupid ship, and they're the mercenaries, and they go and fight for the different countries with no mm. loyalties. It makes no fucking sense. And then number 11, I tacked this one on. They fucked up the theme song. It's awful. And I'm sorry, this is one of the best video game theme songs ever. And when you fuck it up this bad, I'm going to fucking call it out. It sounds like whales dying. What are these whale noises? Hmm? Sorry, that might. The what? Oh, that's fine. <laughs> like all the, oh. some of the noises that keep happening in the game, it's like, stop. Oh, yeah. 
Please we're stop. Speaking to, yeah, we're speaking to whales. Yeah. Captain, oh. there'll be whales here. <laughs> That's right, the soundtrack. <laughs> it feels like the game is literally breaking as you yeah. listen to the song. Oh, it's, it actually What's scared me the first time. I was like, what yeah. the fuck is that noise? It sounds terrible. The sound design for this game is awful on its own. We talked about the gun sounding the bad. Gunplay. We we don't like the voice the acting. Guns. We don't like the writing. All of the whoever was in charge of sound design is probably the UI designer. It's some awful imbecile that should not have a Oof. job. I Oof. I theorize, like I want to cry. I run a shed a tear because one of some of my best gaming memories was Bad Company Two, and I'm playing it, and there's just yeah. all this visceral sounds. <laughs> Like, just the most amazing sound design I've ever fucking heard. The crack of guns, and you go inside, it sounds even go outside. And I actually, I was playing on the Xbox, and I put my controller down. I'm like, man, this is fucking amazing. Here, none of that. Mm. It's all gone. Whoever did that work is now gone. (laughs) Or he's on vacation. I don't fucking know. Sound design theme song. All right, so that's what what fucked up the game. You fix some of those things, and this game could get better. But what did they get right? Nothing. Let's move on. (laughs) <laughs> what'd they get right joe okay i'll pick it up for you guys when it works when when it works yeah but when is that it every once in a while here and there and some maps and some to some in points for like an hour. and and when you get across the massive distances and you're fighting for a little bit it provides the battlefield moments try to get some kills there's a tank Yep, tank coming up the hill. I hit it. Again. Nice job. Flippy Mr. killed three, buddy. That's our squad working together right there. Uh, we need more anti-air, though. Okay, what makes Battlefield? Battlefield, massive Delta scale Malia, battles with both vehicle and infantry combat. Those moments are more fun than, say, Call of Duty Vanguard, where you're playing the same fucking modes that you've played for decades over and over, and they don't feel like real combat. This feels like real combat in very few moments. Most of the time it doesn't because it's ruined by all the things we just mentioned. Look, a broken clock is right twice a day, and that's Mm -hmm. what it feels like, right? It almost feels like they didn't design the situation to make it fun. It's us making it fun, and other people like us on the other side of the world, because the people who are playing this game, they're trying. They're they're trying. (laughs) We're we're trying to have fun. We're trying to squeeze whatever fun we can out of it. But honestly, we would have the same amount of fun playing almost any other game with those people, so I don't give them credit for that. Yeah, and also... It's all built on the backs of other Other battlefields. So, like, what you're doing is what people have already created, and then you're going off in the wrong directions, and that's why it's so scattered brain like that. Um, I guess they innovated, but they failed. Uh, They tried something, right? It's a shameless corporate, you know, homogenization of trying to be fucking Overwatch and Warzone and all these other <laughs> other games instead of Battlefield, but they failed. Battlewatch, so Modern I can't Warfare. give them that either. Uh, unique and different. I mean, you can go to a job interview and take a shit on the guy's desk that you'd be unique and different. Doesn't make it good. <laughs> Weather, Joe? Huh? How about them tornadoes? I, I know that's what you've always impactful. wanted. I'm still waiting for my Sharknado, but I don't think that's gonna happen. But <laughs> like. 
It, they like, had a shark, and I think it previous... looks cool from like a distance and whatnot, but it no, wasn't no. as cool as no. it made it out to be. Not really, You're just right? a dude running around a tornado, like you know. Most of the time, I don't take any damage. It's like I should be dead. Like, oh, any... you know, you know what was good? The tuk tucks. Tuk tuk was super sweet. The oh man! Oh funny. my god, those were amazing. Just I want one. Best edition. Crunch. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, I got killed by Tuk Tuk. I don't think you can do it. Battlefield 2042, best edition. Tuk 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 Tuk. tuk, tuk. Like <laughs> All right. Um, anyway, that so, so that's that's the all-out warfare section. So in review, we've got an unfinished, unstable mess with disappointing maps, broken under. Or broken, overpowered, and overly spammed vehicle play with no counter, no good counters, disappointing weapons, disappointing progression, disappointing customization, a lack of squad and faction play that's always been so strong in Battlefield. Now gone due to chasing specialists fad of other franchises, Battlefield has simply lost its way and put in such a messy effort and an unfinished corporate product that was pushed out way too early and asked more final verdict for this particular uh mode all out warfare Go. i'm giving it a 3 the, this the the, the gunplay itself is disappointing the squad play itself is disappointing the maps are disappointing there's nothing about this that makes me want to go back and play this mode now there's other things and we'll talk about those later but this mode in itself is way under average for what's out there today. Yeah. And it is sad that even Call of Duty Vanguard, which I don't like at all, yeah. feels better in a lot of cases than this game does. Yeah, it does. Th this, this is not, this is so below par for me that I do not want to fire it up and I just, yeah. it's like, hey, you guys want to play Battlefield 4? I'm down, not let's really. do that right nah. now, but I do we not want to play, play this Warzone under any circumstance. And there's, no, there's nothing that I see the potential of. Like, none of these guns feel great that makes me want to come back. I don't like the bones here, so I don't see it getting to the point where I want to come back and play this mode yep yeah Go. man honestly i was at a four but after discussing yeah. everything i'm <laughs> going down because I, I did not have fun with this okay. like yeah we did have fun between us but we also had some stupid mm -hmm. moments that were fun with dark alliance yes. and that game was <laughs> fucking trash <laughs> okay so what so i'm three yeah i would say three i'm a little better I, i'm a little higher than you guys four out of ten this is a below average effort from a legendary developer and a legendary franchise it fucking pains me to give it a 4 out of 10 and that's a generous I'm being fucking generous because I love Battlefield yeah, because the and I played a lot, little more than your guys I think and there are moments that may, that are like yes yeah now we're having fun somebody will come in the stream and then it'll be ruined it'll crash or it'll yeah, do something yeah then you get hit by a fucking <laughs> hovercraft as again there goes my fun <laughs> yeah I, I, uh, anyways so that's all out warfare now we talk about hazard zone trash next trash we're done <laughs> next right don't I, play this I shit I want this to be that section to be this short but I can't. Let's talk about it. Okay. This mode sucks. It is already dead on arrival. It's hilarious. The queue times, at least on PC, is, is yeah. large. It takes a while to get into the game. I will eat it. What takes so fucking me. long? Because nobody's playing this mode. Are you kidding me? This fucking mode is already dead. At release, this mode is fucking dead. Waiting Anyone? for fucking players to join. Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> it is a bigger embarrassment, in my opinion, than Battlefield Firestorm. Yeah, I'd they, rather play that. I'd rather play that. Yeah. And they only supported that for like a month. And they're forced to support this worse mode for longer, right? Trying to make up... They're trying to put sprinkles on top of a baby shat. <laughs> Charles Vanius. One of these wearing a trash bag. Why are you wearing a trash <laughs> bag? Because this game is trash right now, Alex. <laughs> Yeah, I hate if, this mode. I swear to God, if this took time away from developing an actual fucking campaign or a better, more stable all-out warfare multiplayer mode, they should be fucking ashamed of themselves. What's funny here is I think that this mode has better bones than the other modes because they stole it from other better, more fleshed-out games. This is just, hey, we're going to try to data. make a hunt showdown but we're not going to do any of the things that I make disagree. that game great. And so I just I think that if they had better guns, better everything here, this <laughs> mode could work. But they 
don't. I'm mm-hmm. thinking this mode is absolute trash, but it has potential. I don't think the other mode had potential. I think this mode, if they had... What are the mode? All Out Warfare? All Out Warfare. Warfare is Battlefield. Conquest and Blake Breakthrough have potential. I, okay, anyways, I'm it, sorry. So I'm I just... Sh- I, Hazard Zone just... Could be good if yes. they had if they just hire all the people for better people yeah. and smarter people and you know people who play actually play their video games. Yeah. This mode as is is awful. Mm-hmm. It is bots. It is not fun. I don't have any any enjoyment AI at all. Is dumb. But I kind of like this style of game. I, but I would yeah. rather play Hunt Showdown every single day of the week than this. Yeah. What is it called? Like an extraction royale kind of thing. Yeah. That is a solid game idea. Yeah. Yeah. For me, uh, I would take all that manpower and not do that and just focus on the better yeah. stuff. Yes. But I did not like this. This was just like a tacked on thing, last minute thing. It's basically what it was. Mm-hmm. And even playing it, the progression was so fucking terrible. It's there's <laughs> no point. <laughs> it was like, oh, you got five points. To do what? To I do got it five again. points to get the data and we extract it and do so it again. So that I can get a, a slightly different underpowered gun yeah. instead of the PP. And, you know, all these yeah. things. It's, for me, it's just awful. That's it? Yes. It's unrewarding, it's boring, it's pointless, and it feels unfinished. Mm-hmm. That's it? Did you know there's no map specifically designed for this mode? They just reuse all the maps. The two large maps. These maps are too large for even 128 players at times. You think it's going to be good for fucking 36? Or No. This mode is undercooked and it's tacked on. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's for sure. fucking tacked on because it's not fully finished. It's not fully developed. What do you get when you go in this mode? You get currency so that you can artificial, you can get past the artificial blocks put in your way. They're like, here, take these crappy guns and we're going to put an artificial roadblock in your way. Play this mode to get rid of our artificial roadblock. With the same content that's in all the rest of the game. It's not like there's different guns, there's different modes, there's different maps, there's different... No, it's the same thing. And then when you extract, you get this tiny little fucking, you know, hallway, and you can't even shoot out the goddamn windows to fucking prote- protect and, and extract. Like, it's... The it, guns don't work inside it's the helicopter. Poor, it's poorly implemented. It is... It apes other better m- games and modes. It, the, it needed way more work for it to be legitimate. This is just laughed out. And if you like this mode, then it's probably because the, the bones are solid. The like games. Alex yeah, says, the bones are solid. You should try these other ones. And play other games, like, man. It's so much better. Play other games. It. You're going to be like, holy shit. This, yes, this does work when it's given effort. But there's no effort here, guys. Yeah. Hazard Zone 2. 2 out of 10. Yeah. The, I literally never yeah. want to play it again. Same. Yeah, even after we played for like, a, what, two hours, we got like 20, 20 progress points. For what, Joe? <laughs> it's the same. We go, to go back into the mode? To yeah. go back into the mode and play exactly? And you have one extraction or two extractions. Do you want to play it less or do you want to play it longer? It's, this is just for people who like to torture themselves. It's like, yeah, this is so bad. I'm going to do it again. Yeah. They just This mode needs so much work. It needs different maps specifically designed for it. It needs better progression. It needs better gunplay. It needs better AI. There. So better and, rewards. And then it could be it could be something. It could yeah. be an 8 out of 10. It could be these I things. Just, I know there's people that are like, this is my favorite mode. It's like, you should play a second mode or a second video game because right now this, this is are so... Are you out of your mind? It is, it is absolutely a 2 out of 10. I I, yeah, that's I, it's those people like that that's ruining Battlefield. If that's like this is my favorite mall, I'm I, glad that Battlefield did that. Yeah, I'm sorry. What are your what are your scores? Yes, two. Joe, two. <laughs> you broke. <laughs> okay. Finally, we get <laughs> great to impression. The th- <laughs> portal. Oh God. Finally, the, the best mode in Battlefield. 2042 portal. Why is it the best mode? Member berries. <laughs> because they, because they took all the good parts from games that we actually get. Because uh, it's well. the past and better battlefields repackaged and, and hence, redone. But yeah. worse. And given to us, right? Back when DICE understood what made Battlefield special, right? And <laughs> it, it lets you make your own stuff on top of that so you can fix some of the crappy design decisions that DICE made. I find that kind of weird that uh, that you able to still control your body even after death. See, destroyed. these vehicles are not overpowered as they are in the other game. Look at that. Whoa. Yeah. Wee! I'm getting a nice little target for the snipers here. 
Can we even find bullets? Ah, you missed me still. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, the uh, it automatically regen. Yeah! Why is this so much more fun than the fucking other game, dude? Because it's simpler. <laughs> I know. It's just yeah, like, keep, keep it simple. So it's, it's just well balanced. Oh, cool. Finally got me. You finally got me. You see, Chad, if y'all actually watch it, or because this is night and day difference for me. I don't know if you can see a night and day difference, but I can see a night and day difference. Only this mode is then kind of ruined by a few things. UI, it, no scoreboard, it, it, all it sorts being of horseshit. In Battlefield 2042's shell. It's hard to join people, the squad size is too small. Like all of the problems in the main game get put on better games that actually make them worse. Right. I think I'm bugged again. There's just so many bugs. Yeah, the, what, on what the it's, server. What it's doing is it's actually I can't actually die. Yeah. That's yeah, it's bugged officially. Oh my god. Fucking battlefield. All right, sorry guys. We had a big ass server going. Now I got to shut the server down. What a pain in my fucking ass. So, but it is the best part of Battlefield. I had so much fun. Rem you know, in Battlefield 1942. It, it just yes. shows you how simplistic, clean, rewarding. It's not fucking cluttered with all of this goddamn bullshit. You don't see fucking, you know, fucking Panzer tanks calling down seven Panzer tanks from a three-man squad. It, no. Why? So what works? I've always wanted this level of customization in Battlefield. Oh, and they're great. giving it to you. Like, so many fucking parameters and shit. That, cr that portal that you can create reminds me of... Oh, you remember when they had this big ass portal for Battlefield where you could see all your stats? They don't have that this, no. but it reminds me of when they gave the a shit. The better times. The better <laughs> times, right? And the servers are basically free, right? But well, you get to They're not it. they're not good. They're not as good as real servers, but they are free. <laughs> and I've always wanted like rent member in Battlefield, they stopped selling servers, they stopped doing all that kind of stuff for a community. Here, I was actually able to get Angry Army games going. We were filling really the servers. So much too. fun with good. That. It was like and I'm so sorry that none of you will get to experience the site. Maybe why I inflated the score here and there because I was having so much fun with our community. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And and these very specific experiences that I was able to make. And other people started to join in as our servers were rising to the top of a god-awful server browser. Anyways. <laughs> and what, what else works? The, the older games, they offer classes. It's a simplistic re but rewarding feeling. Better gameplay. Better flow. Um, you mean we all can't be engineers and just it, eliminate and wipe, you know, kill it's every single airplane much. and tank right. immediately? Too much. There's better, less chaotic vehicle play. Uh, mm -hmm. It's just, it's a, and it's so, so hilarious. It's such a stark contrast to what you were just playing. All in the same game, you get to see the night and day difference between. Mm -hmm. 2042 yeah. and portal. It was so insane, like getting in a tank, and then we there's a trouble sniper sitting at you battle the bulge, right? They're sitting in the, the windmill, sh like just eliminating everyone from our team, and you just shoot the thing, and the whole building crumbles down. It's like, holy shit. That was that fucking was amazing. amazing. This was amazing. This I love every I second of it. It feels listening. like the movie. It and feels shit. like Battlefield. Like, yeah. what happened to the other shit? It's, it's almost. It, not almost. It is heartbreaking. Yeah. When you go in that mode and you you have battlefield fun, and then you realize what doesn't work. There are only two maps for each of the game types. Yeah. When now, obviously, when we're talking about the um, tailored modes, when you go into that, quickly you'll get tired of it because there's only two maps for each game. You have to make your own server, and then you can add the more maps. But what are you adding? The shitty fucking seven maps that we we don't like. That that's not mm. fucking built for for these these games and these these uh, war types. Um, it's just sad that these older maps are all better than the 2042 maps, and you don't want to play the 2042 maps. No. Uh, another thing that doesn't work, server bot farms. Yep. There's so many of them at release. They prevented us from even fucking creating our own experiences. Just really low-quality modes that are just farming with intent. Just... Like the shitty to get around the shitty slow progression again. Mm -hmm. The point that we made earlier of the game. I don't blame them because they're like, 
where's the guns that are fun? I want to try to get these quicker, you know? Nope. And then, and so because of that, another shitty thing happened. They had to cap progression yeah. because of this problem. So there's no, and so then there's less point to even fucking play portal. So the best part of the game, Dice is like, stop that. <laughs> stop having <laughs> fun. All right. Stop having fun. You do not get progression for that. No. Play our shit. <laughs> you know? Well, the, the store is going to feed the other side, so they want you to play the other side. Yeah. And uh, it's just, and then the simple fact that you can't get around that you're playing older games redone in this game, right? Um, and they're obviously not as good as just playing those fully featured games mm. with a larger, um, m more maps, more modes, more features, because it, this is mimicking what made Battlefield great. And 2042 doesn't do that. So final verdict for the portal mode, which is quite clearly the best new thing that they've added, and I hope they continue Portal as they go forward. That should be the new, oh, it's a Hazard Zone. Oh, this is great. We're giving you three packages. No, Hazard Zone, get, get out of expand here. Expand on the, the Portal. Only, <laughs> the, they expand on the formula. Campaign, multiplayer, and Portal from here on out is what I'm hoping. So, But there's so many limitations in this Portal. There's things holding it back uh, because it released in such a shoddy state. I'm giving this a 7 out of 10. Above average. Great mode, right? Uh, but not enough to be to, to save the overall package. What would y'all rate? Pull? I would probably say like a six because there's not obviously there's not enough maps. It's done well. They enhance the yeah. graphics as you said. Yeah, that's fine. But a lot of it is just like, hey, remember when the good times were? Here? <laughs> hey, remember? Remember the good times? It's like, yeah, but I paid this amount of money for the new game as well. Yeah. But I'm only playing the remember stuff. Yeah. Not everything else. Right. Like I don't feel like I got everything that I needed. But uh, this mode was the funnest. I'm probably going to go with six, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had the most amount of fun in this mode. Not close. I love playing the old games, but the the... The heartbreak thing, breaking thing about this is we would play the bad modes, the ones we just talked about, and then we would play this one, mm -hmm. and it made the other ones worse by comparison. And then you start to see the little bits of stink coming over because it's it's all within this new game, and so it's issues with the scoreboard and the UI and the party system and people being and able to join the game, and, the and there's all sorts of like horrible things. Um, but I did have the most fun. I know that they're going to add new maps. But judging how it is yes. now. Hopefully new games, right? We'd love to see Battlefield 4. Uh -huh. But again, we have to judge it as it comes so, out. Yeah, 2142 would be incredible for it to be added in there. Like oh. There would be so much cool shit in there. Um, but judging it as it exists now. I want to have 20, 2142 smash the shit out of 2042. Oh, absolutely. I'm going to put those two against them. Well, I mean, the Vietnam maps. There were some maps from Battlefield Vietnam oh, that would be so amazing yeah. to play, like with actual There's people. There's a thematic Battlefield where you actually felt like what you did was matter. For okay. sure. Anyways. And so this one, I, I, I think this is above average. I think this actually is good. This is the only, if, if someone wants to play Battlefield, this is the only reason to do it. I would, I'd also give it a 7 out of 10. Yeah. Well, uh, I want some uh, water vehicles. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> they haven't. I and to, just to sum everything up, to show you, they haven't even put the fucking store in. That's how you know they fucked up hard. When you go to the store and says nothing here yet, or no, the battle pass just you showed the, up. Or the so ultimate. The battle pass. You get the ultimate. <laughs> but I, I feel like there was way more they wanted to fucking put in this store, and they have to hold it off. But guys, battle passes are not gonna fix all of these fundamentally flawed design decisions that they have here. It's not just a, well, we've got four battle passes. Give us your money four more times, and then we'll give you one specialist, and we'll fix some stuff. Absolutely later, not. Later, later. When you average everything together, I think, you know, fuck whatever individual scores we gave because it's an overall whole. I don't know if it actually averages out, but I'm going to give it a motherfucking... Four out of ten, as a fine, and that's being generous. I could see a three, I, uh, um, and that's it. for how piss poor at launch. And there's been two launches. There was the launch for people that paid ninety to one hundred and ten dollars upon release. It's insulting that asking price to get this. And then the second release, which didn't even have a fucking day one patch ready, they had to wait several days to get a small fix, like fixing fucking names of the characters and not. And Could then and then somebody. finally we got a patch that fixed the PP and all this other <laughs> stuff. And then we have to wait for a more substantial patch in the third next coming. coming. And the third patch <laughs> is coming. And then but it needs. Needs four and five and six and seven patch, and then it needs three months for more modes and maps, and then all these fucking modes that we. Anyways, four out of ten. 
very disheartening. That and that's being generous. I was looking so forward to this. Hyping myself and then when up I call playing BF4. I was like, man, I can't wait. I can't wait. I know. Then this and then out. when you go and look at all the review scores uh, amongst the journalists, there's something fishy going on with these journalist review scores. I'm fucking telling you. There's never have fishy. I, they got paid. Give me a million dollars. This is 10 out of 10. I'll I'm, say that I'm, too right I'm now. Like, <laughs> you know, I don't normally press this angle because you know it's not as bad as people think, but this, this I think it is as bad as people oh, think. Oh, it's broken. Come because on. Because you you know. so few people criticized this game before it came out, and then when it came out, it was fucking dead silent. I was like, me and a few other people were like, what the fuck? And then... Right after what the fuck? What the fudge? The eights and and you know all these eights started rolling out like what? Oh yeah, that's right. You made, uh, that was my that's third your quota. Fuck. Oh that's shit! Your quota, fuck! Man. Fuck! Frack. Fuck! Stop! I'm gonna get demonetized. <laughs> no. I'm serious. Like this is a problem, guys. You <laughs> have to contribute to our Patreon. <laughs> the, we we I, made a quota of fucks. Oh shit! <laughs> Joe, shut the. We fuck have no up. more to give. Oh, <laughs> no more. <laughs> Fudges what would give. you guys give it overall? No, no, I agree with that I'm one. That was below average. Below a, average. Yeah, I'm at a four as well. This is just terrible. Like, everything is like, oh, yeah, it's going to come, like, later on. But I spent the money already. What the fuck? I don't. I need a refund. It's like, I right, will give no, me my money you back or something. Get a it's fucking bullshit. So many people refund, and they deserve to see the number of refunds rise. Yeah, this game is fucking broken. We all knew that. And uh, the beta, which was obviously the same thing. And everything we do like about this game is all the member berries. Mm -hmm. And that's the only thing. Right. But they need a lot of work. So this is going to be like a fucking wait for like all the patches and a sale or something but it's not worth it same right same thing now like cyber all. cyberpunk 2077 wait a year after release yeah yeah, yeah. uh i i'm gonna be a little harsher on the game uh they released the beta and then they told us it was a three four month old build right but there was lies. no yes. fixes <laughs> lies. at all lies lies oh lies <laughs> So we played the beta. We played it a lot. Yeah. Uh, they had all the resurrection bugs. They had all of the, the 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 hit registration things. The guns felt like shit. Everything in the beta was in the pre-launch that we played. Yes. So there's no fucking way that they did no work in three or four months. Mm -hmm. Then the game releases. You have to pay early. And it was just in a horrible, broken state. And I'm not giving them all the credit for the shit that other developers did that probably have left dice in the past, right? I yeah. did have a ton of fun playing Portal. But honestly, I'll just go back and play Battlefield 4. I still have all the yeah. CDs. I'll play the other better mm -hmm. games. I don't need Battlefield 2042 to satisfy so, that yeah. anymore, right? Mm -hmm. So this is going to get a 3 out of 10. It's completely yep. and totally unacceptable. Yep. Even if it does come out, in a, even if you pick this up in months months from now and they fix all the things, don't give them any I don't fucking give money. Fucking shit. Do not stop giving them incentive to put games out in this state and then they, they just know, well, the people are going to give us money eventually. We'll right. eventually do they it. Will, stop. Yeah. This we, goddamn live service, man. Modern gaming. Modern gaming. <laughs> Yeah. It's rushed. This was rushed and it's losing its identity. Rushed to release when it's unfinished and it's going in different directions, trying to capture everything for everyone and it's losing its identity. That's a sad fact, though. Like, that's going to be the new norm from here on out. No. Yeah. You haven't heard of a little thing called modern gaming. It's not acceptable to have the game be better or what it's supposed to be three months down along the line, six months or wait. a year later. <laughs> yeah. I'm tired of waiting for games to get their shit together. Trying to get the fucking game to load for this fucking parody and it fucking crashed. <laughs> it even crashes when I'm trying to just play it in the background. <laughs> When I've already paid ninety, one hundred and ten dollars, or full price in this case, or more than full price in this case, I'm just fucking tired of it. And they deserve a rude awakening. It probably does deserve a three out of ten, but this is just, you know, tough love from a battlefield, uh, f uh, you know, fan. It's that make it worse than Vanguard. Why? Because they had so much better potential. You know what? Fuck it. I'm changing my rating. It's three out of ten. Fuck it. You're right. Cool. Because I am giving it more. Yes, I did have fun, but for Battlefield to come out like this, nah, man. No, not nah, worth man. It. <laughs> Broken fucking game is anything but a Battlefield game. Zero map rotation, all map making and shit. <laughs> all I'm trying to record, man. It's an alpha. <laughs> Pretty unfortunate. <laughs> Are the servers just dead? 
Are we still recording? Yep. This, the, I can't even get into the fucking game. I haven't been able to get into a game for hours now. I laugh my ass off. Is this game really dead? There are no active servers? Wow. I can't even get into the game to do this fucking parody. Okay. Everyone be- went back to BF4. Yeah. What we need to do. This is bad. And they need to learn a fucking lot. You know, what I can see is the s- score slowly increasing, but I don't give a shit. You know, I'm moving on. We've got Halo coming out. we got other things coming out. And uh, it, it's just a sad state. And uh, they need a clear message that this is unacceptable. You don't release games in this state, number one. And and a lot of the design decisions, basic fucking things are yeah. so missing or gone. Guys, there's, there's a big... H- Big fucking uh, a list of things. List. We can't even cover it on this, but I'll fucking give you the link. You read through this, and you're like, man, this is like a fucking two. <laughs> but no, there, you, there's you fun to be had here with friends. You also think to yourself, it's like, how is that not in the game? That's like yeah. basic ass shit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's it. Battlefield 2042, Angry Review, Extended Discussion, whatever this is. This just, I can't. I can't give this game yeah, more you. effort than yeah, this. This fuck, We're fuck good. this game. What? Um, God damn it! <laughs> anyways, thank you all so much uh, for watching. Uh, thank you to G Fuel for sponsoring us. I appreciate that. It helped us get through this game and uh, <laughs> the depression that it brought on. So I am hoping that Halo can end out the year well, uh, but I'm it's, already uh, starting to see some problems. I was going to say, I was like, it's please, not, it's God, not on the right foot right now. Um, but it was more stable. And yeah. uh, Battlefield. We, we so, fun. yeah. Anyways, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you on the next uh, Angry Joe show. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Okay. Joe. Oh, shit. Joe. Hold on. <laughs> God damn it. Joe. There's nothing that can no. be done now. Joe. Come on, man. It's just a wall. Don't be sad. It's just the way things work out sometimes. Don't be sad, this is just how it works out sometimes.